the south side of the Alps lies a glacial lake, which is about two square kilometers in size. Along the lake stand thick green trees. The Alps are reflected in the tranquil lake. This is Lake Blood. The Slovenian poet Franz Prezer called it heaven on earth. Wandering by the lake, one gets immersed in the elegance of the most famous tourist attraction in Slovenia. One feels the unique charm of this heavenly place on earth. Ganas Fafar is the mayor of Blood. A frenetic travel enthusiast, he has visited more than 100 countries. Yet no scenery could stop him from returning home. Back in Blood, Fafar is now the guardian of the beauty of this city. Uh, this is a very special lake. It's not very big but you can still walk about one hour and a half around the lake. It is a great difference to many lakes in Western Europe. The lake is uh, 475 meters above sea level. It's about 30 meters deep. What is a very good thing about it is just a bit over two kilometers long, and um, that makes it good for rowing. There is this island, which is very unique. It's a natural island. In fact, it's the only island of Slovenia. <laughs> it's very, very romantic. So for some people, winter is even nicer than summer. I think I love this place a lot. It's my hometown. For locals like Marianas Fafar, Bled is a land sheltered by both the Alps and the Mediterranean Sea. At the end of the 6th century, the ancient Slavic peoples were attracted by its beautiful scenery and moved from afar to settle here. They founded the first Slavic principality, Carantinia. In the 8th century, it became a Maghrebate of the Frankish Empire, which facilitated the conversion of Slavic peoples to the Roman Catholic faith. In the next 1,000 plus years, this land received many European sovereigns. We found a lot of artifacts, more than 3,000 years old. Just recently we found a fabulous looking sword, 3,300 years old. Under the castle hill they found goldsmith tools and gold stuff. So at least for 3,000 years people live around the lake. And since we are on the road from east to west, from north to south, we were invaded quite often. But basically, they never killed everybody. They just mixed with the old population. So we have roots which are Celtic, but basically Slav. And uh, my blood is a little bit Austrian too, so. In 1004 AD, the then sovereign, King of Germany, Henry II, built a Catholic church on the island at the center of Lake Blend. Another castle of unique architectural features was also built on the bank. Later, Henry II bestowed the castle on the Diocese of Brixen. This building integrates well into the surroundings. Varied views can be seen with the changing shades of light. Every hour, when the church bell rings, the echoes sound like they are coming from the bottom of the lake. The royal families and the religious practices help preserve the elegant tranquility of Lake Bled, which seldom caught historians' attention. Every Sunday, following their ancestors' tradition, villagers of Lake Land attend Mass in this old Baroque-style church. 
They worship the spirit of their homeland through this old ritual. In Blood Castle, on the other side of the lake, people keep alive the memories of this old city through an annual costume show. The locals practice the curtsy in their traditional costumes. seen from the Middle Ages. After several earthquakes and repairs, it's now hard to trace the original look of Blood Castle. But generally, the Middle Ages architectural style is still preserved. The castle was founded on a huge, steep rock by the lake, surrounded by the beautiful view of the village. However, the natural scenery was exclusive to the priests living in the castle. For 1,000 years, the closed castle gate guarded the majesty of the diocese while blocking the outside world. The blockade, however, was broken with the arrival of a Swiss physician, Arnold Rickley, in 1855. Rickley had long suffered respiratory illness. By chance, he came to the Lake Bled region to recuperate. After several weeks, he got healed miraculously by the fresh air and rather pleasant alpine climate. So, Rickley opened a healing center here with various sanatoriums and hotels. The natural scenery and relaxing atmosphere Bled became a popular leisure resort for European aristocrats as an extension of the luxurious court life. They built a golf course and race courses for fully savoring their enthusiasm for horse racing. In September 2011, at the Lepika Stud Farm in Slovenia, the annual Equestrian World Championship was hosting enthusiasts from over 20 countries, including Switzerland, Austria, and Norway. They were to compete in various programs, which the dressage is the all-time favorite. Dressage is performed in a completely flat arena on a sand surface, usually measuring 60 by 20 meters. The riders are dressed formally. They usually wear top hats, shad belly, and tall dress boots. Against the gentle melodies, they instruct the horse to perform all the requested movements in a coherent manner for 12 minutes. Through the performance, the rider and the horse act as one to showcase the beauty of strength, the tension in the rhythms, and the passion in the harmonious movements.
Simona Premel is a horse rider from the Lapica Stud Farm. She's been taking systematic equestrian training since she was 10. Torej, že odvedno, odkar pomnim, da sem živa, sem si vedno želela jahati in starši so me vozili jahati sem v Lipico ponije. Ja, jahanje je umetnost, vsak ne mora jahati. Pomembno je, da jahač, ki želi jahati, mora imeti občutek, ravnotežje. V bistvu sploh pa prvo kot prvo ljubezen do živali in konju predvsem. Her initial idea of and preference for horse riding was inspired by her father. She recalls an unforgettable experience when she was 10. Prva stvar, izkušnja, ki mi prije na misel je ta, da ko sem bila stara 10 let in ko sem začela jahati, v bistvu v tisti čas imela sem rojsni dan in starši oziroma oči je rekel, da si mona pejmo nekam pogledati nekaj, ne? In sva se odpravila nekam v eno, v en hlev, ampak nisem vedela, zakaj se gre. In v bistvu sem se zaljubila na prvi pogled v eno kobilo. In bila vsa navdušena, ko sem zagledala tega konja oziroma kobilo. In kasneje mi je tudi povedal, da je to v bistvu darilo za rojsni dan, kar je bilo pač takrat res presenečenje in taka lepa izkušnja. Simona named her own Lipizan Pluto. Later, she and Pluto took part in many training sessions and competitions. When she was 14, she won the junior group title of the Slovenian National Equestrian League three years in a row. At 17, she won the FEI World Cup Dressage for Young Riders Championship. Through her development as a horse rider, Simona's father has followed her everywhere and recorded her performance. This video was taken during the FEI European Pony Championship in 2007. Let's see, she is learning for the last year. She is a typical fighter, a typical technobout. Sicer je še mlada, ima še veliko se součiti. Mislim, da bo Simona bodoče sigurno ena od vrhunskih evropskih jahačic. To je prepričljivo, kaj ti ima tudi suport staršev, suport podjetja, kobilarne Lipica. Mislim, da je ena od najbolj perspektivnih pri nas v Sloveniji. Sicer ki nimamo veliko, ampak nekaj pa le. The history of domestication of horses goes back 5,000 years. Horses were not only used as a means of transport, but widely used in warfare. The equestrian sport, which emphasizes the harmony between the rider and the horse, soon became popular among the nobles. For its elegant postures and extravagant costumes, horse riding not only led the fashion among aristocrats, but also became a popular sport of the time. Since then, horses have been bred for particular competitive programs and performances. The Arabian horse from the Arabian Peninsula is the ancestor of all modern breeds. The British thoroughbred, however, after 200 years of breeding and training, has become the fastest racehorse. The Hanoverian warm blood horse originating in Germany is known for its superb explosive force. Thus, it has become the most popular breed for races. But the most elegant breed of horse, the Lipizan, was born in Lapica, the small village about 60 kilometers from the city of Glen. In 1580, Slovenia was ruled by the powerful House of Habsburg. For breeding high-quality military horses, Archduke Charles II visited Lapica Stud Farm, which was the oldest stallion breeding farm in Europe. The fertile grassland and very special climate made it the perfect habitat for precious stallions.
At Lepica Stud Farm, the direct line of the Lipizzan breed is most carefully preserved, but it is crossed on other stallions according to traditional methods. The Lipizzans are born dark, but become lighter each year as the graying process takes place. The adult Lipizzans usually have white coat color and are elegant in shape. The Lipizzans are viewed as the symbol for light, life, and resurrection. They were once used as the royal horse for the Austrian Empire. Different from racehorses, the Lipizzans are not trained for endurance or speed disciplines. They are mainly trained for performances like dressage. My opinion is that I'm a small in the Lipizzans, in the Toplokarni, in the Nemski, in the Zemski. I think that the main thing is that I'm a small in the Lipizzans. I'm a small in the Lipizzans. For a Lipizzan, training is a very important part of life. Only those who are tested with high intelligence can be selected to train for dressage. The hardest and the most stunning movements are the airs above the ground series. To perform such movements, a horse has to go through years of training. Je pa zelo pomembno, da je konj urejen, da se mu zatekmanje naredi kitke, da ima zelo urejeno frizuro, prav tako moramo biti tudi mi urejeni. Hkrati bistvo je, da je dresura ena sama eleganca, tako da mora zgledati vse lepo. For hundreds of years, the Lipizzans have been known for their excellent performances of the dressage. The Lepica stud farm, which bred these horses, consequently won fame. In 1952, the Lepica stud farm established the classic riding school, which also participated in worldwide equestrian events. At the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics, the candidate from Lepica won the championship of the dressage discipline. The rider's outfit is now preserved in the Lepica Stud Farm Museum. Kot vedno uh, in kot vsak športnik imam tudi jaz to željo, da bi nekoč nastopila, nastopila pač na olimpijskih ali pa vsaj na svetovnem prvenstvu oziroma na evropskem za člane, ker trenutno sem še mlad jahač med 18 in 21 let. Nowadays, even if the Lipizzans can be seen in many countries in both Europe and North America, it is still a rather rare breed. Altogether, there are about 3,000 registered Lipizzans worldwide. The Lipizzans are the earliest among all European horse breeds and can only be bred in Lepica. So they are regarded as a national animal. A pair of Lipizzans is also featured on the 20 cent Slovenian Euro coins. In vse še dan danes, če reš po svetu, rečeš Lipic, od kje si, bo boš rekel, da si Slovenija, ne bo dvedna znovu, boš rekel, da sem Lipicanc iz Lipice, aha, ok. In se je tudi, moram reči, da je tradicija nekako nadaljevala do vsega, do, pač do dan danes, ne. Now it's not hard to imagine, when the aristocrats came to bled in the 19th century, how they enjoyed the passion for horse riding in the neighboring Lepica stud farm. Every visitor to Slovenia yearns for a taste of the local equestrian culture, which adds to the unique charm of this heaven on earth. This tranquil land, however, couldn't evade the chaotic vicissitudes of the 20th century. In 1918, the Austro-Hungarian Empire was defeated in World War I. Slovenia became a part of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. 
the villa which was built by the Austrians was taken by the royal family. In 1945, Slovenia became the independent socialist state of federal Yugoslavia. After World War II, Yugoslavia built its own brand of socialism under the strong leadership of Tito. In 1947, Tito visited Vlad. He ordered the renovation of the villa complex and took it as the office of the national government in Slovenia. But he welcomed him like uh, Nehru, his daughter Indira Gandhi, a um, lot of famous rulers, Japanese emperor when he was crown prince Akihito. This I remember. So we were children and we liked this visit because it was no school. Since 1984, the complex has been open to the public as Hotel Villa Bled. The architectures, which were built in the 1950s, are still preserved. Tito's chamber is kept the same way as when he used to live here. And I was, I started to work here in 84. I was not working uh, in his time, but my aunt worked for him and she liked him very much. She was, he was very good with the stuff. And um, if his wife was away, he was eating in the kitchen with the stuff together. So, and he was over 70 years old. He could escape out. And they were always looking for him because he ran out to a local pub and asked people, what is, what is true? Are you living good? Is everything okay? Tell me the truth. <laughs> so that was, he was very liked by the people, an open person. The city of Vlen has become a favorite tourist attraction in Slovenia. Every year, it welcomes over three million tourists from around the world. On traditional wedding days each year, young couples are joined. With the beautiful melodies of ancient instruments, they vow everlasting love. When blood overflows with love, it feels ever more like what poet Prezarian called the heaven on earth. The unique charm will also be passed down through this tradition. Before we finished the whole filming session, Mayor Yanis Fafar showed us around the local print workshop, which dates back 400 years. He himself showed us the traditional printing techniques of Slovenia. Paper is handmade from cotton. We do it the old way, like they did it in the old times. We insert the paper in the machine, everything inside, and now, please. So this will be a little gift for you to remember the days in Slovenia. And I hope this program of yours will bring us a lot of nice Chinese people as tourists to Slovenia.